Jenna, hi, and thank you very much for meeting with us today, and, and uh, we appreciate you asking us to come out here, and uh, we know you've just finished uh, another uh, great year at the, uh, at the golf uh, mm -hmm. fundraiser on July 12th, and you've been doing it for four years, and, and the question I, I, I'd like to ask you is, what, what made you get involved in this and, 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 and raising money for the hospitals and doing the golf? Well, I had, uh, had the opportunity to be in a lot of different celebrity tournaments and, and charitable things. And uh, when Alan McCauley finished running his golf tournament out there, uh, Jim Bolton approached me and asked if I would like to take it over and he would be willing to, to work for it. And um, obviously it was something I wanted to be able to give back to the community. And it was a year and a half after my dad had passed away and spent some time obviously in the, the palliative care unit here in Kingston and um, thought it was sort of a nice fit, a good way to give back and a way to show my appreciation for you know what the hospitals did for for him and for our family nice well you know it's it's an incredible story and, and it's always so amazing when someone especially local and is doing so well and, and so well respected wants to give back to the community you know for mm -hmm. for uh, for the reasons and and does so well for so many others at this time I'd like to introduce Brenda Brenda come on in you've had the opportunity to meet Jaina yeah delighted yeah so I want to I think the value that um, we get as the recipients, not only the money, mm -hmm. but it's our opportunity to acknowledge and say thank you. A uh, really heartfelt thank you for the effort that you make on behalf of the team and the people that you bring, the leadership mm -hmm. you provide to bring this sort of, of um, donation to the Cancer Center and the mm -hmm. Cancer Program at KGH. Um, it's, it's um, you know, recognizing what a gift of that nature can do for our program is quite significant. We're, we're celebrating the fact that we have a new center and everything we do is really engineered around improving the patient experience because mm -hmm. cancer is a very scary diagnosis mm -hmm. and we do everything we can to support the cancer patient and their family through that journey. So a gift of this nature will help us do even more within our redeveloped facilities to enhance uh, the kind of equipment that we have and the facilities we have and the amenities we have within the program mm -hmm. to be able to use the, the money that you're bringing to us to make a big difference to patients and families. So thank you very much. You're welcome. We're going to ask Dale now to come over. Hello. Dale Kenny. We've met already, so yep. Dana. Yep. Nice to see you again. You too. And uh, I would just like to thank you on behalf of Providence Care for your leadership and for organizing and sponsoring the uh, the Links for Life Golf Tournament, and uh, you've made some significant contributions to both the Cancer Center and our palliative care unit at St. Mary's of the Lake. And uh, I just wanted to thank you for that. And uh, it, your, the dollars you raise goes a long way to uh, um, supporting our mission, which is enhancing the quality of life for people. And certainly, the money you raise does does that for the patients in our palliative care unit. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd just like to uh, introduce Maureen McGinn, who uh, is going to talk to you a little bit about how the money that you raise actually uh, goes towards the support of our, our patients. So Maureen, do you want to? Brenda has said a, a lot of what, our, what we have uh, also experienced at Providence Care. Um, I really felt strongly today that it was important for somebody to be there from the care team to let you know what your money goes to and how it does benefit our mm -hmm. um, patient population that we serve in our palliative care unit. So over the past year we've had two main initiatives where we have um, used uh, donated money to both buy new beds for palliative care as well as new surfaces, new mattresses and a lot of them are low air loss mattresses that provide an extra level of comfort for people that are on our palliative care unit mm -hmm. and as well we have um, used the money to buy more CAD pumps, which is a pain delivery system where it keeps pain delivery um, more consistent and even so that mm -hmm. people don't need breakthrough, that the, the medication is de delivered on a, a continuous basis. And both those initiatives have really helped to improve the quality of life and the comfort um, of our patients. So on behalf of the staff and the team on palliative care, I'd sincerely like to thank you for that because it's made a huge difference to our You're patients. You're welcome. So we have a... Jana just pulled that out of her back. Oh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> what a pocket. <laughs> well, let's get in. We will. Yeah, we can all You know what, we can move the, uh, the poster for this one too if you want. So uh, right. I could go in the, 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 the middle. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Just trying to make it more secondary. You want to stand. Um, if you can just come in there nice and tight, that's good. How's that? Or can you just, yeah, perfect. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> that's good.